Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The president of is out there, of course. Okay, taking the heat off of Obamacare, let's now focus on immigration. Yes, they're focusing on immigration, which, of course, he's attacking the Republicans who he does need their support on. Hmm. Anyway, do you think Obamacare is going to go away? <laughs> but, I will tell you, for all the uh, traffic they can't handle, Walmart did handle for Black Friday, oh, what was it? Oh, millions and millions of Walmart people. Walmart did one and a half million sales on one product alone and 25 million transitions and mm -hmm. his website can't handle more than 50,000. Uh, hmm. That's that people showing up at once. Yeah, that something doesn't sound right, right? Mm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the President of the United States is out condemning <coughs> Republicans. And, oh, George Bush and the uh, this was a good one. George Bush and the Republicans are trying to keep immigration reform from happening. Um, George Bush put up an immigration plan that the Democrats soundly defeated a few years ago. Because George Bush happened to have Latins in his family, folks. Remember, his son George, uh, Jeb Bush's son George, basically has a Latin mother. He speaks fluent language, he speaks the language fluently, and may mm -hmm. actually be running for president against his father in three years. Oh, really? Yep. And Duncan faces criticism over white suburban moms. Oh, God, that was the most stupid thing on the face of this planet. A guy, an Obama person, saying that uh, white suburban mm -hmm. mom, he said they're nothing but, I love it, they're Republican whores. What? Like that. Yeah. And I, <laughs> that got him into big trouble. I bet it did. Yeah. Israel adopts new measures against African migrants. Well, migrants, not immigrants. Yeah, boy, somehow that doesn't seem like what I had put up before. Mm -hmm. No, it can't be. <laughs> yeah. No, before, right under it said Obama's not, um, Obama isn't. Uh, oh, Obama, I'm not a particularly ideological person. Yeah, that's what, see, I actually remember what I did. Mm -hmm. yeah, they got, I mean, every comic under the sun has been going after that one. We're talking for, since he said that, he, he said the most ideological president mm -hmm. this nation has ever had. He said that he would bring the entire nation down to get what he wants, but he yeah. doesn't, he's not, he, he's not fixed on ideology. Yeah. It's really funny. And Israel adopts new measures against African migrants. Because they're, they're, they're just flooding the country and they all tend to be Muslim. And more drivers are testing positive for POTS as the Washington State Patrol. Yeah, which is, they, no, okay, Ooh, what did Flea Obama say? They never had any idea that people would be testing massively stoned. And they're, you know, <laughs> oh, you know what Flea Obama said? There are no regulations for driving under the influence of marijuana. Because they can't, they, uh, do, to basically give a regulation about driving under the influence of, a, of marijuana, you have to then admit that it is a problem. And you basically, if you admit it's a problem, it's got to be regulated, and they're trying to unregulate it. So, you, while you can basically can't drink and drive, you can now dr fly an airplane, drive a train, fly, drive a bus, any of these things while on marijuana in these states that approve the measures. And the end may be near for plasma TVs. Well, yeah, because they're okay. What we what yesterday we we saw god awful amounts of, of last year's model of uh, TVs being sold, and there's no did you we didn't see not one single plasma TV set on sale. We saw LED TVs. Lots of LEDs, and LEDs are even on the way out. Mm -hmm. And Japan warns of unpredictable events over China's new air zone. Yeah, well, yesterday two airplanes were deliberately sent through the air zone. China just can't claim everything, you know, way out belongs to them. And uh, so there's an aircraft a carrier sitting out there. I love it. The Chinese government sent their aircraft, the first aircraft carrier they made, they sent into action against the American forces yesterday. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah. It was just one sort of major problem. And the court the order... The problem what? being is that they have no airplanes on this aircraft carrier. It was oh. an empty. The carrier had no planes because there are no carrier planes. They don't. They don't. They have to. They don't build carrier planes, and they have no pilots to fly off a carrier. So it looked good, though. That beautiful carrier that looked like it's a British-made carrier, mm -hmm. short jump plane. So. And NASA uses drones a short distance from the Central Valley. Yeah, because that's what's everything. Well, what was the big deal about that one? 
I, I, that one I don't understand. Well, you have to understand how difficult it is to get news sometimes. Oh, and court order lets NYPD continue a stop and frisk. Yeah, the the mayor. Uh, and this is the this is the best one you can think of ever. They said now that we have a new Democratic mayor of the city of New York, crime will be reduced in the city of New York because people will know that they're not going to be harassed by the Republican thugs mm -hmm. on the street. Uh, no, they they uh, one of the he said we're going to go back to when Mayor Dinkin was mayor of New York and crime collapsed. Well, no. The crime wave started under Dinkin when he ordered the police to stop the procedures that they were doing that were stopping crime. Oh, they were? Oh, God. They said that uh, they, um, they said the incident that he quoted, we're going to go back to the, the laws of Mayor Dinkin to restore the rights of the individuals that are being harassed by Republican thugs. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a disaster in New York. People won't be able to walk down the streets anymore. Um. And secondary laws for Mexico Telecom's overhaul to be delayed, lawmakers. Because the primary laws didn't work. What happens is, is that uh, Mexico, other than oil, has no ex reason for existence. And um, when you're telling people that are coming in that don't actually do business in your country, that we're going to regulate you heavily and we're not going to let you make any money. They don't come in. So uh, yeah, kind for of. For instance, my family owns oil in Mexico and if they sell the oil properties, if they allow American companies to come in and take over the oil industry, I intend to sue the hell out of whatever company it is because we, you know, they're using some of my family's oil in that country. We own it. It's, you know, this is why, Mex why you're having a problem in Cuba because so many American companies own things in Cuba that if you allow Cuba to become open, they're going to want their Businesses back plus revenue that they've lost. Mm -hmm. And Santorum not ruling out a presidential run in 2016. He has no support. The guy, the guy is a total right wing flake and they're never going to elect one of them. And Congress announces it will be in session fewer days in 2014. They love that one. But here's what one of them said they said the only pos positive side to that is they're going to have less days to screw things up. <laughs> And Scotland named Independence Day for the first time, March 24th, 2016. I know. They're, they're basically, the threats about Scotland are having no effect. Does anybody, anybody remember Ireland and how they put the Black and Toms in in Ireland for, for a couple of hundred years when they decided they were going to be independent? Oh, really? What's going to happen is they're going to split the North Sea area off from the rest of Scotland and say, well, the part of Scotland is nothing but ha but agricultural. That can be... That they can let that go, but they won't let go of the North Sea. They won't let the North Sea go. And Russian lawyers have Snowden to start a website job. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I don't think that's voluntary. Yeah. You yeah. can only imagine what they have them doing. Yeah. Um, Brooklyn attack arrest is knockout game of hate crime? Well, no, they're trying to say it doesn't exist. What is the knockout? Oh, where they, uh, uh, minority kids walk up to somebody white and knock them, knock them out. The problem is the, the left is saying, well, this game does not exist. We have, no, we have no one that basically has ever brought charges. We have nothing. And the problem is it's happening every day on the streets in 10 major cities, all of them controlled by Democrats. And there's, no, there's nobody pressing charges. There's nothing... Oh, okay, here, what is Herbie Daddy? Five people have been killed, but that never happened. Mm. Remember, it's like the snow that didn't happen in, in Sundance when we were there. The fact that, that it was snowed so deep that it basically overwhelmed our SUV, that didn't happen. And the fact that five people have been killed is something that never happened. Mm. But it's all on videotape. They, they taped themselves doing the things that never happened. And Carnival will sell bigger ships from New Orleans. Which they no one understand that the bigger ships are getting way too big. You think the Poseidon Adventure was a fake movie? No. You're building ships that are, what is it, 30 stories tall now? That's pretty big. It can't handle, um, it's basically got to be top heavy like you can't believe. And three heard in Tesla factory hot metal spill in California. Yeah, but Tesla's got all. Okay, here's the problem is Tesla is not a company that makes money off of auto sales. Tesla is a company that makes money off of Obama's carbon credits. Um, and Hawaii town to state? Stop sending tourists here. 
I know. Uh, they, they, they can't exist in Hawaii without tourists. And now their cities are saying, we don't want them anymore. Mm. What happened was is that the uh, people that aren't really citizens of Hawaii pushed through gay rights legislation. Oh, and the people are ultra conservative, the Hawaiians are. And they really didn't like it, so now they're saying, stay out of our, our blankety blank cities. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, the, this is an age when you say something, it goes viral, and you can't admit that you didn't say it then. <laughs>